What's good, 9197 gamers? This is your boy Tyler9197, Witcher9197, Black Wolf9197, or 9197. Back with another video for you guys, and you guys can see from the title and what you're watching, guys. Um, today this is gonna be part one of me playing some back at the Valkyria Chronicles. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and start this video. But uh, but yeah, guys, Valkyria Chronicles. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, cause the thing was, I played the demo of the fourth one, and like at first I didn't really think it would be my style, cause like turn based. But when I really played it, I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. And the story was kind of intriguing, so I was like, you know what? Let me play the first one, and then um, you see me now stream about to stream it. So yeah, and I know it's gonna have a like good story, this and that, and the third. So I'm very interested to see how the story starts with Val Valkyria Chronicles. The year was 1935 EC. Story time. Powers controlled the continent. In the east. The sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. Empire. In the West, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, Gallia. they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue. Gallia to arms. Prologue. Gallia to arms. All right. That was it. That was a good storytelling, you know. Now let's really try to go ahead and play it. And like I said, guys, like I said, I had because I had played a demo of the fourth one stuff, and at first I didn't really think I was gonna enjoy it, but I, well, I really liked it. I liked what I was seeing, and I was like, you know what? I definitely want to get the game and try it out, especially. Before you know, of course, I didn't play. I played, like I said, I played a little bit of that demo, the fourth one. So I definitely, that's what made me want to get the first one to kind of learn about the story, or if it, in some ways, going to come, uh, come close to what the fourth one is, or the fourth one might be a whole different story in general. But I know the premise of what it, uh, gameplay stuff should be the same. So that's why I'm very interested to um, try this out. And plus, like, stay tuned when I get a chance to play Fire Emblem Three Houses, because that's still something I, I still want to play. 1935. Oh, Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. I'm already tree. I know this is going to be a good story. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. 
You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Freeze! Put your hands in the air. Slowly. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, my name's Welkin. And you are? The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melkiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... <laughs> I... Yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Hey, she didn't be so rude. <sighs> Thanks, fish. But I mean, it's understandable. If it's a war, it's a war. So I mean, hey. But I'm just joining it because just story-wise, I don't even gotta play um, play just yet. You know, of course. Cause, I mean, they gotta get talked about the story and stuff. Um, but yeah. They say, but Alicia. Yeah, no. Ooh, well, Alicia. Are they right? Alicia, 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 God, Flowers, no. bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. <sighs> I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! Oh, shoot! Oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh, oh man! Oh, man! My God! Dang, you're getting shot, man! That dog! Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. All right, all right. That's what's up. About saving the game. Open the menu by pressing the X and then save the record of your progress. Saving is a good idea before, doing, during, or I mean, during and after any combat op. Anything could happen out there. Absolutely right. Important guys, save. Even in the game, do auto save. But if you can manually save it, manually save it also, because you never know what could actually go down, and you just and you'd be messed up. You're like, no, I wish I manually saved it. Okay, Saving is important. Here's the plan. I think it was Alicia. No, Alicia. Yeah, Alicia. Yeah. He's welcome. That's why I'm, that's the main guy I'm playing. Okay, okay here's the plan.
we got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching bruh bro bro I didn't bro I said bruh <laughs> no I said bruh yeah bruh yeah that's all I'm just saying guys <laughs> all right we'll we'll deploy I mean we yeah I said deploy oh wait we'll <laughs> deploy from here and take out all three of them just cross the bridge and take down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take uh, let's take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. All enemies are defeated as victory failure. Wilkin dies, Alicia dies. Twenty turns pass. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. Got it. I understand. I got gotcha. you. But it's kind of a good thing that, like I said, I played uh, the I demo of, of Valkyria uh, Carnivals for the fourth one. Because, like, because I wouldn't understand this place that at first, but playing, when I played that demo, it really helped. So, because, like I said, because guys, if you never see gameplay uh, games like this, um, you probably going to look kind of confused how it works and stuff, how that turn base of like the way it's set up for this one. And you probably, it, um, it sometimes may probably look a little boring at times, but it's definitely a lot more fun playing it than watching. I'll definitely say that much. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Okay. Yeah, when combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's positions. This is referred as a command mode. Here, you select the unit you like to move based on their position, respective enemy, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know about that. Doing so using up the command point displayed on the top, yep. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Who should I start? I I guess well. Let me let me, me information. The action, I know, I know. Yeah, move until it's at zero that you can't move no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good. Troops can only attack once per at, uh, action. Once a unit is down, moving and attacking in the uh, action to return the command mode. Yeah, I know, I know. Damn. Yes. Here we go. But oh, I wasted it. Let me make sure. Let me move her close to Welkin. Alicia. Crouch. When your CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. One player enemy phase consists of a single turn, a fewer turns. Yeah, yeah. The more cash experience you receive at the end, but um, being too. Hasty can lead to unnecessary risks. The keys to find a challenge, challenge balance. I know. Yeah, in it. Yep. Like I already know, like nigga.
Okay, it's okay, it's my turn now. Oh, he's still shooting. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. I didn't. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know, guys. I didn't know. I didn't know he was still going to. Um. I didn't know. I did not know. Yeah, I in the phase. I let them uh, come closer because uh, I I didn't know. Clear shot is um, that one right there. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. Man, playing. Alright, um, I need a good spot, like, but it's just that problem is, like, where they at. Yeah, let me, let me make her go back. Alright, okay. Okay, hold on. Crouch. Alright, in that. Then I'll go back as well, Ken. Here we go. There you go. No, right? Alright, let me run back. Come back, crouch, hide. Alright. And end that. 
good. Yeah, he is, he was not trying to move. Here we go. I already know how to cover it. God, dog, really? You're not telling me that. Ah, dang. Ah. Okay, cover it. Dang. somebody else I get uh I get to watch dude there we go got him Woo! yes sir yes sir That was good. That was good. Cause they were scary though. They 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 was not trying to come. They was not trying to uh they was not trying to come after us at all. Like they were just still hiding there. They were scary. Like come on now. That was good. Alright, uh cause that was more of a mission. Okay, yeah. So story time. Back to story time. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day, of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate, and of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Enough said. Valkyria Chronicles. Man, that was deep, y'all. That was deep. 
Chapter 1 In Defense of Brule. I was right the last time at Brule. I was, I was right. I know I was smart. Alright. Uh, let me save this real quick. Got to. That's a must. But alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream now. I know it's kind of short for this one, but me doing this video now, like it's kind of late for me and you know, I'm definitely getting really tired. But um, but anyway guys, like I said, um, there will be more content of Valkyria Chronicles th this week, so stay tuned for that. And go ahead, hit the like, follow, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and follow me on my social media outlets and hit the bell to get notification on my next video all right guys peace i love y'all and i'll see you guys on my next video now one nine seven